In this video, we'll see a demonstration of the recrystallization of an organic compound. The equipment we need consists of a Pasteur pipette, a flask containing the compound to be recrystallized, a hot plate, a flask with recrystallizing solvent and a couple boiling chips, and an assembly for doing a hot filtration. This consists of a stemless funnel, some fluted filter paper, and another flask for receiving the filtrate. We begin by warming the recrystallizing solvent and the filtration apparatus on the hot plate. We want to adjust the hot plate so that the recrystallizing solvent is just barely at a boil. Notice here that there are bubbles starting to form in the bottom of the flask, but it's not boiling rapidly. Working on the hot plate so that we keep everything near the boiling point of the solvent, we add a couple portions of the solvent to our compound. You can use a folded paper towel to hold the neck of the hot flask. Swirl the flask while you keep it in contact with the hot plate to help dissolve the material. Continue adding small portions of the solvent until the solid dissolves. The goal is to add just enough solvent to make a saturated solution and then a little excess. Some impurities may be completely insoluble, so don't add too much solvent in trying to dissolve the last bit of solid. At this point, we're almost ready to filter the solution to remove the insoluble impurities, but it has a slightly yellow cast to it. We can remove this color by treating the solution with activated charcoal. Letting the solution cool slightly, we'll add some activated charcoal pellets to our solution and swirl this and warm it again on the hot plate. Next, we filter out the insoluble impurities and the norite pellets through the fluted filter paper into the warm flask on the hot plate. After most of the solution is drained through the filter paper, use a couple small portions of the hot recrystallizing solvent to rinse the paper. Now the solution is removed from the hot plate and allowed to cool to room temperature. After about 10 minutes, the flask has reached room temperature and we have a reasonable crop of crystals. We'll transfer this to an ice water bath to complete the crystallization process. We'll collect our crystals by vacuum filtration. To do this, we'll need a Buchner funnel, a filter flask, which we've clamped to the ring stand and attached to the aspirator at the workbench, some cold recrystallizing solvent, which we've chilled in the ice bath, and a stirring rod. We fit the Buchner funnel with a neoprene adapter and then add the correct size filter paper, one that will fit flat on the bottom of the Buchner funnel and just cover all the holes. We turn on the vacuum source and then wet the paper with the recrystallizing solvent to pull it tight over the holes in the funnel. We use a stirring rod to break the crystals free from the bottom of the flask and create a slurry of the crystals in the solvent. Pour the slurry of crystals in the solvent into the funnel. We can rinse the remaining crystals out of the flask with a little cold solvent.
Wash the crystals in the Buchner funnel with a small amount of cold recrystallizing solvent, one or two milliliters depending upon the amount of crystals, to remove any supernatant liquid adhering to them. We initiate the crystal drying process by pulling air through them for a few minutes. After that, they're transferred to a watch glass and left in the open air for a time to dry completely.